Have you ever worried that someone knows exactly what you're thinking? <laughs> well, Lee has come to the National University of Singapore to see if that's really possible. He and other participants in this study spend hours inside a noisy MRI machine. Uh, very important not to move the head, okay? While inside, they are shown thousands of images, each for nine seconds, and their brain is scanned each time. Using all those scans, they build an artificial intelligence model for the participant. On their next visit to the machine, they will stare at new images, and researchers will try to replicate the pictures using the AI model and Stable Diffusion, a public AI image generator. But instead of words, scientists input brain scan data. This translator will translate your brain activities into a special language that a Stable Diffusion can understand, and then it will generate um, the images you are seeing at that point. These are some of the images participants looked at, and these are what the AI model coughed up. Some reproductions more accurate than others. It's just simple images for now, and each person's brain needs a different model. But scientists hope the research could one day help disabled or nonverbal people. Maybe we can help him to like uh, control their um, their robots and um, their their phone like uh, communicate with uh, um, communicate with others. Reading someone's mind is fraught with ethical concerns. Could brain scan patients have their thoughts tracked? Or could the MRI be used as a lie detector? Researchers say legislation is needed before the technology matures. This is going to be very, very difficult, right? So, yeah, it's going to take us at least another five to ten years, I think. Of course, no one will accidentally stroll through an MRI machine. So, for now at least, our thoughts are ours alone. Redmond Shannon, Global News, London.